Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Atlanta Braves have a chance to get out of town with a series sweep, and that's big against the division rival. Yeah, they want to walk out of here feeling really good about what they've done. And sweeps are good, but divisional sweeps are outstanding, especially on the road. They're going to get a tough game from the other side, though, and no one's okay with getting swept in their own building, so they'll be ready as well. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll here, and today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nolan. What do we need to know here? His career ERA's been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. All right, ready to get underway. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzie Albies. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Nope, at the ball. There's the swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And that one almost got him. This ball's chopped to the ground. Stop. Picks it up. On to first. And Albies is retired. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Next offering is down low. 1-0. Oh. No, no, no score just getting started. Top of the first. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. One down. Base is empty. And now it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And here it comes. Swanson checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. 3 2. In the air, right field. Harper puts it away. And there are two outs. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First offering misses badly for ball one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. The two one. And there's a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. 
That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the first. And getting to start, Austin Gomber. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. We go to the bottom of the first, and now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. Here comes the pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. And now it's Alec Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Segura gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss there. The pitch. Just missed. And the pitch on the ground. Can't field it cleanly. Over to Swanson. He turns it to first. Oh, not did. in time. Great effort there. That the right Harper. Here's Bryce Harper. There you see his May and June numbers so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. That just misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. And now the lefty. And a good eye there. Three balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture-perfect slider to get the strikeout. Starts over the middle of the plate and dives hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball he got the pitch before, and there's no way to hold up when you tunnel that well. Kyle Schwarber in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Gonna count one and two. One and two.
kicks and fires. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position with a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Second inning set to go. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. Nola back to work. That's in there. Nola. He gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. And he's down 0-2 as he swings okay. through it. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. a swing and a miss one away well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone guys become defensive and all of a sudden for the hitter that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is and that's what leads to the strikeout And a 1 1. Left field. Schwarber should have this one. Two away now. You look at what the elite guys do, they strike guys out. They limit walks and they limit the ball going out of the park. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Dickerson now. First offering, misses the mark. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Next offering is in for a strike. No score here in the second. Now this is in the air down the line. Schwarber ranging to his right. And that is that. And the Braves go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Bottom half of inning number two. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. And the lefty with the 0-1. Eric Summers Gill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. The first baseman, three, Austin. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And first offering is fouled off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next offering is fouled back. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Three. And down on strikes he goes. 
two up two down already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice take some notes share some information got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game disrupt this pitcher do something to get him out of his rhythm and here is Herrera three for eight in the series coming in that one's in there on one Second inning here, no score. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The wind and the pitch. Well struck, right field. That one's back there. And it's out of here. He leaves the yard to right, and the Take the lead. It's one nothing. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Two outs, nobody on. And now it is JT Real Muto. Fouled off. He was late. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. The pitch. Not close with that one. And a count one and two. Two down, nobody on. Popped up. Tarno makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Now in for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. The left fielder, Eddie Nola back to work. That one drifts inside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the righty deals. And there's a ball. Righty delivers. That's a strike. That is strike two. A wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Foul ball, he stays alive. Two two now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats it for the first out after the drop third strike. Adam Duvall at the plate. Oh, 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Fastball grooved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball two. And here it comes. Aye. That's in there, and the count is two and two. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Three two now. And he walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. All these swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Darno off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. And now two and one. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. At the belt and fires. And now it's filled up. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Three and two now. This one in the air right field. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And here is Ronald Torres. The designated hitter. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And a pitch. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering down in the dirt. And a pitch. That one ripped. Didn't quite have enough. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. This is Bryson Stock. Two hits in the game last night. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Mm -hmm. 
in the air left field down the line Rosario right there to make the grab yeah, there's two away the batter, number two, second baseman. so the lineup flips over so digging in now for Philadelphia Gene Segura First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. And that one fouled off. pitch way inside gets out of the way Next offering misses, and that's ball three. And now the lefty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So, man aboard. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The third baseman, Alec First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. They say you win. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right field. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Safely into second. He's got a double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Harper, the next to hit, takes ball one. Left-hand batter waits. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And that one clips the corner. Two outs, two in scoring position. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. On to inning number four. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. Dansby Swanson stands in. And the right hater back to work. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. Dansby Swanson blasts one out. His seventh home run of the season. And we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. 
So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next pitch is inside, and it's a ball to strike. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two now on Acuna. The punch out there, and there's one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because now if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Olsen stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next offering misses. Now 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. The 2-1. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Look like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. You're a little late. Opposite field knock. Two two now. That one fouled off. Wind of the pitch. Got him. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And the first offering is not close. Next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Righty to the plate. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And the pitch. No, that's bad. That one fouled off. Three two now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. A little bloop single. And that extends the inning. So two down. Now it's Alex Dickerson. Alex Dickerson. In there for strike one. In the air, center field. Pereira drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Braves draw even on the solo homer. All even at one apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The wind and the pitch. Out front with the swing, and that is strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fought off foul. 
He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Riley under this one. And there's two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. And now the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's already homered in this one. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. That hits the dirt. One and one. That's nope. down and in. Down to two and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that's downstairs and outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a ball popped up. And just foul. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Eddie Rosario. Pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So up next, Adam Duvall. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Nope. Next pitch that's downstairs. And that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and fires. Ball that's low. And there's the strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Next offering is foul back. Two two. And a swing and a miss. Two away. So digging in, Travis Dardo. He reached out a walk his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to walk. And a pitch. And ball one. And that's in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. 
stays alive. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Next offering is down low. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that is that. Braves go down quickly here. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in Philadelphia, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, JT Real Muto. And here it comes. Real Muto. Ball one there. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a foul ball. Pitch. And a count one and two. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Out to short. Swanson fires over to first. One up, one down. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Here's the Phillies DH, Ronald Torres. In there, and it's 0-1. And fouled off. Missed. Kicks and deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. Towards first. He takes it on his own. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Two outs, bases empty. Bryson Stock, the next to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Here's a 1-1. Into center. All these racing over to make the catch. We're through five. All tied 1-1. One, one. All set for the top of the sixth. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves. Ozzy Albies. There's a strike. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And yeah, the righty deal. That one pushed foul. Phillies fans want a strikeout. And that's outside. Bullpen activity starting up now. Sir Anthony Dominguez getting ready to go. Brogdon getting loose as well. The one two. Stays alive. And he deals. High fly ball out to center field. Pereira under it. He's got it. One away. So up next, Dansby Swanson. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Swings through that one. 0-1. Righty delivers. One ball, one 
And there's the strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. One and two here. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And he's got a double. Here's Acuna now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And there's two down. Here is Matt Olson. Hit. Runner around third. Harper fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 2 1. Well done. Drives in the run. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Austin Riley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Right-hander kicks deals. Good eye in that spot. The two-one. Ball three. Count. Olson leads off first with two down to the inning. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Blue. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Dickerson in the box again takes the strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Flashes the leather on the running back. And that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. Bottom of the six. Gene Segura at the plate here. Gomber back to work. Second base. That one a little bit high. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Luke Jackson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Smith getting cranked up as well. In the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Struggling a little bit in this series. He's two for 12. First offer misses badly for ball one. And that one is lifted in the air. And Acuna able to make the grab. Out number two. Here's Harper now. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy fits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slug too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Fouled off left side. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They're down 
two to one. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. A wind of the pitch. Dominguez. He's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations. Those high leverage spots. It seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate, and they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. Got him. What out. Here's a big power threat. Adam Duvall. The mental approach is a big factor, too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural, and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. The why to kick the pitch. And another ball. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive. And that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Three and one. And just hacking like you used to. Yeah, kind of same just like that, yeah. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. They all pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And it's gone. Adam Duvall hits one out. His 18th home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 3-1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist now to roll that, over, stays that, through the ball, rabbit. gets the loft, and gets the home run. Darno, batting with one down, takes a strike. And the pitch. Now one out to right. Harper going back, back some more. Racing makes the catch. Two away. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The next offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Two outs. Pumps in a strike, and now three and one the count. Hard hit. Knocks it down. No throw, and they don't get an out on the play. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. Breaking ball, and that got him. First and second, two down. Ronald Acuna Jr. next up for the Braves. Mm. 
First pitch just misses. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Albies, the lead runner out at second. Swanson on at first with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. One more for Atlanta on the homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. That one misses, and it's 2 0. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Oh. And he grounds one to the right side. To first, one away. Big time out leading off the home seven. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. Next offering is down low, and that is ball one. The wind of the pitch. So two balls and no strikes. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. To third. Gathers and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now. And here is Odubel Herrera. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. The other way, he's got it. And that is out number three. Phillies down in order, and they still trail it here, three to one. Into the game now, the southpaw Brad Hain. It's his job to keep his team in the game. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The pitch. There's the strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter when they get ahead on a really good hitter right there. The pitch. Nope. Meanwhile, activity of the bullpen. Jaori's Familia up and throwing for Joe Girardi. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. Got him looking, and one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead, getting that W. Right in the box with one away as he takes ball one. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
Austin Riley goes deep. His 17th of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Alex Dickerson next up for the Braves. Now that the designated hitter, Alex Dickerson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. and two now and now one and two and it's even up he's trying to stay down in the zone but the hitter just will not chase now back in a 2-2 count he's going to have to go to something else to get him out next pitch not close up high Kicks and fires. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Rosario, the next to hit, takes outside. Dickerson over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a 1 1. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Next pitch misses. Two and two. At the belt and fires. That one just misses. Left hand hitter waits. Bouncer to Hoskins. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's out number three. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now 4-1. Henley Jansen into the game. He last pitched two days ago. Number 74, Henley. JT Real Muto steps in. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Leading up for the Phillies, the catcher, JT Real Muto. And a pitch. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Check swing. He went. And the count even at one. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. And a ball evens the count. That one way outside. 
full count now. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Absolutely bang bang at first. Made a speed really work for him right there. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So now the DH spot, Ronald Torres. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Stays alive. And the right-hander deals. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And the runner holds. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Ground ball could be two. There's one. A sensational double play. Now here is Bryson Stock. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That one's in there on one. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead, they could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The 0-1 and delivers outside. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Kicks and deals. And he chases that one. That ends the frame. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Connor Brogdon. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Now it's the right fielder, Adam Duvall. One for three. The right fielder. Here comes a pitch. Adam. And a foul ball. <laughs> Andy O2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis Dardo. And that's in there for strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Jaori Spamilia preparing to come on if needed. one and that's him for a strike 
quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Next one off the plate inside. Ball one. The pitch. This one popped up. Hoskins has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The batter number one. Second baseman. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Next pitch inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Got a big swing and a miss. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall, but you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order. Do up. It's the Braves four and the Phillies one. New pitcher for the Braves. Colin McHugh. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the second baseman. Gene Segura. For the Phillies. And he deals. Ball one, no strikes. The wind of the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. In the air, out to center. Acuna there. Hauls it in for the out. Now, now the number two hitter, Alec Bowen. First offering, and it just misses. The 1-0. Slider misses outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And the righty deals. That's misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Right-hander kicks deals. And there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Harper, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Boom. At first, one gone. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in.
popped up. Albies in position. He's got it. There's two away. Now Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And it's fouled away. Two outs. There's the strike. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, you can see these guys are feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep, and they get it done on the road. You talk about the confidence that that can produce. I'll tell you what, they're riding high right now. It's a nice win in this game. 4-1 the final here today. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, four runs, seven hits, no errors.